insertion of Mickey G-tube. Mickey buttons are changed after two consecutive weekly balloon volume checks where the balloon volume is less than the amount of water you put in the previous week or six months, whichever comes first. Wash your hands and gather your supplies. Mickey G-tube, water-soluble lubricant, 10cc slip tip syringe, water, non-latex gloves, and a towel. Wash your hands, put non-latex gloves on. Gloves are only required in hospital settings. Check that the Mickey button is the correct size and the expiration date before opening the box. Remove the new Mickey button from the package and inflate the balloon with 5 ml of water to test the integrity of the balloon and ensure the valve is functioning properly. The balloon should be symmetrical. Check for leaks. Remove the water from the balloon. You can leave the syringe attached. Lubricate the tip of the G-tube and set it down on a clean cloth. It is ready for insertion. Have the child lying on his back. Attach a 10 mil slip tip syringe into the balloon port and gently pull back on the syringe plunger to remove the water from the Mickey button. Remove the Mickey button by pulling up gently and rotating the G-tube if it is snug coming out. Gently push the new Mickey button into the stoma till it touches the skin. If you cannot get the Mickey into the stoma, keep gentle downward pressure on the tube and when the child breathes in, push gently. The stoma will stretch and when the child is breathing in, the abdominal muscles will relax and allow the G-tube into the stoma. Inflate the balloon with three to five mils of water, depending on the size of the Mickey and desired fit. Your nurse will advise you how much water to inflate the balloon with. 12 French G-tubes, 3 to 5 mil maximum, larger sizes, maximum 10 mils. Keep your finger on the plunger. Twist and remove the syringe from the balloon port. Verifying placement. Rotate the Mickey 360 degrees plus a quarter turn without resistance. Attach a feeding extension and pull back stomach contents. Flush with water and remove the extension. Discard the old G-tube. In hospital, pH test is required to confirm placement, but is not required at home. Mark the date on the box and keep the box. If the Mickey balloon leaks or fails in 30 days or less, please return the broken G-tube to PHNSP.